Hi, this is GCSE 9 to 1 Crammers. It's never too late to start revising, and this way you can do it anywhere. Test yourself by stopping the video after each question. Have a go at answering it, then play on to check it. Run through the questions as many times as you need until the answers pop into your head. Today we're revising biology topic 1A.5, mitosis and binary fission, covering cell division by mitosis in eukaryotic cells and binary fission in prokaryotic cells. The two different types of cell division we are covering today are mitosis and binary fission. Mitosis. Mitosis is when a single cell reproduces itself by splitting to form two identical daughter cells. Reproduction by mitosis only has one parent. Eukaryotic cells, that is any cell with a nucleus and organelles, for example, animal cells, plant cells, protista cells like algae, and fungi cells like mushrooms, use mitosis to replicate cells for growth and replacing damaged cells. During mitosis, a body cell divides only once. Each cell reproduced by mitosis forms one set of chromosomes that contains 46 chromosomes. Therefore, this means each cell is made up of 46 chromosomes. Mitosis is asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction means only one parent is needed for reproduction. A single-celled organism and all daughter cells are identical. The way to remember it is the A in asexual stands for A single cell is needed for reproduction. Name and explain the stages of mitosis. The stages are interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis. During interphase, the cell's 46 chromosomes line up in the middle of the cell. During prophase, the chromosomes double to 92. During metaphase, the chromosomes line up in the middle of the cell. During anaphase, the chromosomes separate and pull apart. During telophase, the cell begins to divide and the microtubules disappear, and lastly enters cytokinesis, where two identical daughter cells are formed, each with 46 chromosomes. Now you might be thinking, do I really have to learn all the stages for the exam? Yes, you do. Go over this slide until you know it inside out. Mitosis happens in the cell cycle. After the interphase stage, when the X-shaped chromosomes are formed. Recognising the different stages of mitosis from photographs. This picture shows a cell that is not going through mitosis because you can clearly see the whole cell and nucleus. This picture shows a cell in telophase. The cytoplasm and cell membrane are dividing and you can see two identical daughter cells forming. And this picture shows a cell in interphase because you can see the chromosomes are lining up in the middle of the cell. Exam style questions. What is mitosis? Mitosis is when a cell reproduces itself by splitting to form two identical daughter cells. What does the mitosis allow the organisms to do? Mitosis allows the organisms to grow and develop by making new and replacing damaged cells. When a cell divides by mitosis, the new cells are genetically identical. What causes the cells to be genetically identical? Any of these answers would be correct. DNA, or the chromosomes, or the genes are copied. How many times does a body cell divide during mitosis? Once. It is a single cell division. What type of reproduction is mitosis? Asexual reproduction. Name the chemical molecule that chromosomes are made of. DNA. 
give two uses of mitosis in multicellular animals, growth and replacing damaged cells. Human cheek cells are a type of body cell. Body cells grow through cell division. What is the name of this type of cell division? Mitosis. Calculating the time cells spend in the replication stage of a cell cycle. So what do we need to know to find this? The number of cells in any one stage of the cell cycle. The number of cells in the replication stage. The time of one complete cell cycle. And if we know this, we would be able to work out how long cells spend in the replication stage because the number of cells in any one stage of the cell cycle is proportional to the time taken for that stage. So, the equation you need to learn is the number of cells in the replication stage divided by the number of cells in one field view multiplied by the time of one complete cell cycle which equals how long cells spend in the replication stage. Tackling cell cycle questions 1. A tissue sample shows a total of 188 cells. Four cells are seen to be in the replication stage of the cell cycle. One complete cell cycle of the cells in this tissue lasts 24 hours. How long do the cells spend in the replication stage of the cell cycle? Give your answer in minutes. So what does the question tell us? The number of cells in one field view is 188 cells. Number of cells in mitosis is 4 cells. And the time of one cell cycle is 24 hours. Remember, we must convert hours into minutes by multiplying by 60, which equals 1440 minutes. Finally, the question is asking us to find how long cells spend in the replication stage. We know the equation to use to find this is the number of cells in the replication stage divided by the number of cells in one field view multiplied by the time of one complete cell cycle, which from the question we know is 4 divided by 188 multiplied by 1440. That equals 30.638297. 8723. The question asks you to give your answer in minutes. So we round the answer up to 31 minutes. Binary fission. Which cells replicate by binary fission? Prokaryotic cells, which are simple single celled organisms. Prokaryotic cells don't have a nucleus, they don't have any mitochondria, and they have circular DNA and plasmids. For example, bacteria cells. A bacterial disease called E. coli can spread very fast because it multiplies by binary fission. Each cell that divides by binary fission produces two cells that continue multiplying rapidly. That is why a virus can spread very fast. How fast can bacteria cells divide by binary fission? As quickly as every 20 minutes. What affects the speed at which bacteria multiply by binary fission? Temperature and the availability of nutrients. Explain the stages of binary fission. It starts with a prokaryotic cell that has a nucleoid, a cell wall and a cytoplasmic membrane. Then the cell replicates its DNA. Next, the cytoplasmic membrane gets longer, separating the DNA molecules. The cell starts to separate, forming a cross wall. Then the cell wall forms completely, separating to form two daughter cells. What type of cell division causes the change in the number of E. coli cells? Binary fission. Working out how many times a bacterial cell divides, use the equation total time bacteria are producing cells, divided by the mean division time, and that will give you the number of divisions. Tackling a cell division question. A bacterial cell has a mean division time of 30 minutes. How many cells will it have produced after 2.5 hours? What does the question tell us? Mean division time equals 30 minutes. 
total time bacteria is producing cells is two and a half hours. We are asked to find how long cells spend in the replication stage. First check the times are all in minutes. So we need to convert the hours into minutes by multiplying by 60. Do the maths and the total time bacteria is producing cells is 150 minutes. The equation for calculating the number of divisions is total time bacteria producing cells divided by the mean division time and substitute with the figures. 150 divided by 30 equals 5 divisions. The key to exam success is learning consolidation and keeping this topic fresh in your mind to nail those questions in the biology GCSE paper 1 exam. If you go over this enough times you'll be able to answer any questions on this topic confidently in your exam. This is GCSE 9 to 1 Crammers and if you like the content of this video give us a thumbs up and if you have a question or need help give us a comment below and don't forget Smash that subscribe button if you want more Crammer's videos for your exam success. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.